The spookiest time of the year is here, and Pokemon Go is celebrating with a crazy fun Halloween event. Discover the new Pokemon Morpiku, an electric type dark Pokemon, but first let's dive into the event details. This event starts on Tuesday, October 22 at 10am and ends on Monday, October 28 at 10am. During the Halloween event, we will be introduced to the exciting new Pokemon Morpiku. This dual type electric and dark Pokemon boasts a maximum combat power of 2196 CP. Morpiku's unique ability is uh, it's the ability to transform in battle. Every time you use the charge attack, Morpiku will switch its time from electric to dark and vice versa, adding a strategic element to your gameplay. To obtain Morpiku, you can participate in the Go Battle League. Morpiku will be appear more frequently in the premium track of the league during the event. After the event, starting at rank 16, Morpiku will be encountered in both rewards tracks, but will still be more common in the premium track. Additionally, you can also find Morpiku as a reward for completing field research tasks. Morpiku exclusive charge attack is Aura Wheel. The type of Aura Wheel Morpiku knows depends on its current form. Full belly mod, an electric. Morpiku will know our Aura Wheel Electric, which deals 100 damage and increases the user attacks by one stage. Angry Mort, a dark type, Morpiku will know our Aura Wheel Dark, which also deals 100 damage and increases the user's attack by one stage. This mechanic is only available in Go Battle League. Now that we know this new mechanic and new Pokemon, let's see the event bonus and details. The bonuses are Two times candy for catching Pokemon, increased chance for trainers at level 31 and up to receive a candy XL for successfully catching a Pokemon with nice throws or better, increased chance to encounter shiny Umbreon in raids and shiny Zorua in the wild, and oh boy I will grind this beautiful shiny Zorua. The wild encounters are kinda good, and they are Dubat, Spinarak, Murkrow, Misdreavus, Cupid, Drifloon, Purlion, Femal Frillish, Zorwa, Liquid, Graveyard, and if you are lucky, you can find Sablay and Absol. Besides Graveyard, all of them can be shiny. But let me say the ones you should focus are Drifloom, because Drifloom is ranked 21 in Ultra League and ranked 96 in Great League. Femal Frillish, because Femal Jellicent can be good in some Great League battles. And Zora, because it's shiny! Litwick because Gardevoir is good in PvE and Galate, because Mega Gardevoir and Mega Galate are good in Pokemon Go. On raids we have on tier 1 Sneasel, Sablai, Yamask and Galarian Yamask and on 3 star raids Ishim and Typlosion, Umbreon and Bombardier. Remember Bombardier is exclusively available on raids and can be shiny. In max battles we have Dynamite Ghastly. And Dynamax, Dynamax Gasly will make its Pokemon Divax debut in 1 star max battles. The following, the following Pokemon will be appear in max battles. On 1 star max battles, Gasly, Grookey, Scorbunny and Sobble. On 3 star max battles, Phalanx. Only Gasly and Phalanx can be shiny. On field research tasks, we have some event team field research tasks. And the following Pokemon will be available to encounter when completing the field research tasks. Sablai, Scraggy, Golet, Sandycast, Morpiku, Nimble, Graveyard and Spiritomb. Spiritomb is only available in Anowin and can be shiny, so let's grind that. As you complete these tasks, you also be rewarded with Mega Gengar Energy, Haldo Mega Energy, Sablai Mega Energy, Bennett Mega Energy and Absol Mega Energy. During the, Halloween During the Halloween event, Pokemon Encounter Backgrounds, Pokestops and Gym will be, will be adorned with the festive decorations, creating a spooky and immersive atmosphere and it's super cool. To enhance the experience, a remix of the iconic Lavender Town music will be playing nightly throughout the event. Turn up your in-game sound to feel like you are taking a stroll throughout the haunted town. So let's get in the pay zone. For $5, you will be able to access the Eggvet exclusive Bridging Time Research. Time Research rewards including the following 
3 Catch Candy combined with the 2 Catch Candy from the event, event team Pokemon encounters, including the first peek at the new costume Pokemon debuting the part 2 of the event, Froakie, wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume and a Rowlet wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume. Event themed Pokemon encounters, including Pikachu wearing a Witch Star hat, Spiritomb and Morpigo. A new avatar item depending on your choice, a Morpigo Honsi, a Fully Belly mod or a Morpigo Honsi, a Hungry mod. Note that this time research ticket will only be available in the in-game shop until November 2 at 8pm and for $2 you will be able to access the event exclusive time resource. The following Pokemon will be available to encounter when you complete the time resource tasks. Pikachu wearing a Hitch hat, Vulpix wearing a spooky festival costume, Gengar wearing a spooky festival costume, Piplup wearing a Halloween mischief costume, Driftblim wearing a Halloween mischief costume, Froakie wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume, Ukaboom wearing a spooky festival costume, Rowlet wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume and all of them I love Froakie wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume look at that so cute and by the way all of them can be shiny and one again note that time and again note that the time resource expires the tasks associated with this time resource must be completed and their rewards must be claimed before Sunday November 3 at 8 pm and that's a wrap on the Pokemon Go Halloween event. From spooky encounters to the thrilling battles, I hope you will have a blast and have fun playing the game during this event. Stay tuned for more exciting events coming on your way.